Hi, I'm Bill with Molly. Welcome to chapter one in our series on understanding piston rings. You see, I've got a handful of piston rings right here today, and this is the very basic chapter. We'll build on what we learned today in the next units coming along. So let's talk about piston rings. These rings that I'm holding, of course, fit on pistons, hence their name. You can see this cute little piston I have right here, which is out of a Chevrolet Cruze. If you look carefully, you'll be able to see one, two, three rings on that piston. Okay, a ring similar to the ones I just held up here, of course, but much smaller. Now, different size pistons, different size rings. Here's a small diesel engine, and you'll see again on this piston, no rings, but one, two, three grooves on that pistons for rings. We move on up to a Cummins piston, and you can see right here, this one's been actually been cut away, and you can see right here, one, two, three grooves on the piston, hence three rings fitting on that piston. Now that fits very well with most modern engines. As you'll see from the chart I'm holding up here, what we've got in most modern engines is what we refer to as a three ring piston. We have the top ring, that one as you'll see on the little bar graph there, its job is 90% controlling compression. It keeps the gases up in the cylinder and out of the crankcase. The second ring surprises most folks because even though we call it a compression ring, its primary job is to scrape oil off the cylinder wall we call it fine oil control in the ring business. Now the lower ring is referred to as an oil ring and because of that, uh, it's easy to figure out that its job is to control oil also. It's what we refer to as gross oil control. It scrapes most of the oil down off the cylinder wall and then that second ring meters the last little bit off leaving just enough to lubricate the ring pack. So it's that simple. Now I don't want you to think we just got in the ring business yesterday here at Molly. Matter of fact, it started way back in about 1907 or 1908 with a company called Perfect Circle. And it's evolved over all those years until Molly, today is the parent company. Uh, we're large in the ring business. Just to give you an idea, we manufacture in our plant here in Michigan, nine million compression rings a month. Now that's just one of Molly's many plants. Now you're gonna say, well, where do all those rings go? Well, most of them, probably two thirds of them, go to OE, original equipment, car, truck, bus, tractor manufacturers. Now the rest of them go to the aftermarket. That's us folks here. What we do is we package rings in sets that fit particular engines. So if you've got a, a say a 2007 Chevrolet pickup truck and you're rebuilding the engine, need a set of rings, we'll have a specific set for that engine. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in to chapter one. Next week you're going to learn about piston ring materials.